Okay, when on big brown beaver. So we're gonna start out with the uh, verses riff. <laughs> Again, but uh, slower. Okay, so we have a slap on open E, hammer on to ten, uh, open D pop. And then a muted slap to uh, kind of kill that. And then next we have a, uh, uh, a quick muted pop on D, muted, to a quick uh, muted slap on E. And then just that repeated. And then taking that hammer on down to uh, 8 on the E string. And then up to 8 on the A string. Uh, so speaking of uh, those, throughout this song, um, for lack of better phrasing, sometimes it's what I'm going to call like single slap, and then other times it's like double. Uh, Again, that's not, you know, technically accurate to what's going on, but to uh, demonstrate single. So it's just a, as opposed to a, um, which, you know, that would be double. So for the slapping in this song and for the slapping in, you know, a lot of songs that he plays on the resonator, uh, when you slap, you're going to have your thumb resting on the next string over. So in this case, uh, your thumb resting on the A string after the slap, on the A string here. And I think that's the reason people, some people think that uh, he does uh, double thumbing. Uh, to my knowledge, the only, the only time I could think of that he does double thumbing is in uh, Red State Girl. But so in this song, just before the uh, you know much more difficult riff, and just before the. Um, you know, he starts saying the lyrics. We have this fill where it's uh, the E8 uh, four times. So sometimes, again, sometimes double. So there's that one, and another one is the same thing, but 10, 8, 7, 8. Or. So during the uh, uh, lyrics to the song, the main riff is not quite as quite that complex, so it's not quite. It's uh, simpler than that, it's like. Like that. All right, now for the uh, nightmare part. So the first thing I want to point out about this riff is what's going on with the right hand, and uh, not much. It's it's pretty simple. Slap, pop, slap, pop, slap, pop. And in fact, it it follows like exactly the uh, 
you know, right hand motion during the verses. So, you know, during the uh, verses, it's. <laughs> so that is going to continue into, you know, this more uh, difficult riff. So that being said, I'm going to break this riff down into uh, four parts. So one part for each right hand motion. Okay, part one is a slap on E10. And with the left hand, uh, try to kill that uh, quickly. Part two, uh, pop on uh, D, open D. And then after that with the left hand, do uh, two muted notes. Like two uh, muted, like, you know, taps on the strings here. And that's, that's what I think makes this song uh, difficult. I, I think this is one of uh, Les's more difficult uh, songs to play. Because, I mean, before learning this song, that's that's a technique I've never used before, just like, um, you know, this quick, kind of rolling, left hand muting technique. So, uh, so far. And if, when you're doing this, you're kind of hitting notes. You're, you know, if you're hitting any notes like that. Um, you know, that's okay because, I mean, once you kind of build up speed, it, it it's kind of becomes so quick that it just, like, sounds muted. The only, you know, really audible notes here are uh, the slap on E10, and then the open D pop, and then the final pop, which is going to switch around. Which will be part four, which we'll get to in a second. So, yeah, so far we have... Okay, part three is going to be a uh, muted slap, and then, okay, so where you slap that, uh, this is not super important, but just something I noticed is that, so for part three here, the uh, muted slap you do, which string you slap uh, depends on where you're about to pop. So for the first time around, uh, the pop is on G, so the, so the, you know, second slap is on D, so slap the D and then pop on G string. Second time around, uh, on A, and then popping on D. I slapped on A, popped it on uh, D. And the next two times are uh, slapped on uh, D, popped on G. So anyway, uh, part three, yeah, so there's the muted slap, and then do that, do two more of those you know, left hand muting, do, do that uh, motion again. And, uh, I mean, doing this kind of technique, it's, I mean, another reason I think it's kind of difficult is it kind of requires, like, a certain, like, a uh, light handedness. So, you know, uh, tapping down hard enough to be audible as, like, you know, clicks but not so hard that they're like playing notes. So another thing about part three is um, the last left hand movement, like the second left hand, um, you know, muted tap, is going to be uh, where you're about to pop. So, you know, the first time around the pop's on G10. So, uh, you know, for part three here, you wanna do, so, that, I mean, that saves you uh, one less movement you have to do with your left hand. So, ready for that pop? Second time. Ready for the pop, which is on uh, D10. Third time. Up here at uh, 12 and 14 with that kind of, you know, technique. Ready to pop on G14. And the last time on 12. Okay, now for the fills. So, um, one very common fill in this song, usually in the uh, middle of the more difficult riff rather than at the end, 
is this. And that is a uh, pop on G10, pull off to open, pop open G again, uh, tap on D12, slap D10, hammer on 12. So another fill in this song, which is often a uh, kind of closing fill to the, uh, you know, more difficult riff is... And so, uh, it's basically, you know, the fill described before, but just with more tacked on to it. So it's going to start out with the same, but then there's a... So... And then uh, G10 pop, hammer on 12, pull off, uh, tap uh, D12, and then slap uh, D10, hammer on 12, G pop, uh, G10 pop. Slide down, and then slide up, back into the verse riff. So another fill in this song, which I think is uh, less common, is uh, kind of similar to the last part of the uh, second fill described, and it's going to go like... So it's going to start with a, a G10 pop, and then that motion again, you know, that thing described earlier, and then a, a D10 slap, hammer on 12. And then, th and then those last two things repeated, so... Again. And during the uh, second and third verses of this song, we have a pretty simple fill, uh, just a shrum on uh, G11. It's down up. And I think that's right after he says... Uh, can he dried up his nose, and then so for the third verse, it's right after, I think it's after he says, uh, wish I did half a pair. So, uh, during the guitar solo of this song, um, you know, he doesn't play the same thing every time, you know, in the performances of the song, he's kind of just messing around and, uh, improvising in the, uh, key of, uh, D minor, which is, uh, kind of strange, because this song doesn't quite have a minor sound to me. Uh, it almost kind of sounds Mixolydian uh, to me anyway. But uh, yeah, so the notes to kind of uh, play around with here are 7, 8, 10, 12 on the E and A strings. And then sometimes a 13 on uh, E. So to, uh, you know, demonstrate some messing around here. thing he commonly does during a uh, you know the guitar solo is this kind of slide thing so that's from 10 down to a uh, one it's getting cut off from the camera here up to 13 here okay and towards the end of the song we're gonna be you know, doing the difficult riff again, and to uh, close the song off, we're going to do a... So, I mean, it's really similar to that, you know, thing from earlier, the... So we're going to be popping, uh, we're going to be at uh, 12 and 14, pop uh, G12, and then do a... And then slap uh, 12 on D, hammer on 14. And then strum this uh, chord here at... So that's A5 and then D and G7. Uh, so, there you go. Uh, when I was Big Brown Beaver.